Hi, welcome to D&D &D Tonight. My name is Bradley. Tonight, there's going to be chaos, mayhem, violence, cult worshippers, and that's just within the first five minutes. Join us as we go on an adventure through the Dungeon of the Dead 3. We have Dominic playing Zarin. We have Allison playing Rowan. We have Liv playing Merit. Hello. And that's it. No, uh, that's uh, <laughs> Adam playing Oliver. The guy who is uh, like currently like trying to figure out how to get the, the chains on him off. Like he's, it's just... Oh, like he's kind of like biting at them a little bit. Um. He's like, hey, the big guy has a set of keys on his hip. Grab him off and let me loose. I was betrayed. These assassins conspired with my brothers to kill me. My name is Mortlock Van Thumper. What was that? Mortlock Van Thumper. Before I go into this, and you know that if I tell you this, I'm actively trying to help the city. I'm not... I'm not involved with this anymore, not, not after what they did to me. Your wrongs are no longer your burdens. Work with us now, and you will be good. She's important? She's one of the four dukes of Baldur's Gate. Oh! And she's trying to become the Grand Duke. That was older Raven Guard before he left to go to El Torel before it disappeared. Look, the long and short of it is they've been paying these cultists to essentially undermine the Flaming Fist's authority, trying to prove that they can't help anyone. Once the Flaming Fist have less of a reason to stay in Baldur's Gate, no one can stand in my mom's way and become the city's next duke. Once that happens, she's going to plan on dragging Baldur's Gate down to the, to the Nine Hells. You're right. We better fuck your mom before she fucks you. Okay, wow. <laughs> He kind of looks over at you. He's like, "What? You just made this game a lot more fun, buddy." Just <laughs> that ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore them. Look, my mom is one of the three remaining members of the Council of Four. They govern Baldur's Gate, and she's she was the one who basically convinced Older to leave Baldur's Gate and go into go into El Torel. Right up, was pulled down. Jeez. So she knew it was happening. She did more than know. She planned it. She has a deal with with some unscrupulous characters to make sure that it happens. From the way I'm understanding this, Elsewell was dragged down to the Nine Hells? Yes, that's correct. By your mother? No. Okay. She's not that powerful, but she has a lot of political power in, in this area. The, the entirety of Baldur's Gate is separated by the lower city and the upper city. Essentially, she rules over most of the city. She needs to make it happen. She'll bribe the right people to make it so. But the other two council members are thinking that the Flaming Fist is instrumental in keeping the peace, so she has them stick around. But she's trying to undermine their authority, and once there's no reason for them to stay... She takes over. She takes over, right. and then she... She fulfills her contract. <clears throat> she has a contract, too. Yes. The, uh... The, the, the Dead Three, they're also being paid by my brother Amric. Amric is... Well, he runs a uh, money lending business out of uh, an old decommissioned ship called the Low Lantern. It's basically a casino. But uh, he's been paying the, the cultists to basically make raids and indiscriminate murders. I was helping with that. I've been essentially coordinating the attacks. And then once my brother Amrick and my other brother Thirstwell decided that I was of no use to them, they conspired against me to try and get me killed. Tortured me first been down here for days. I wish... I begged... I begged a lot of gods and a few devils that it would just end. All I want to do now is get out of Baldur's Gate as far and as fast as I can away. Well, we've heard your prayers. We're here to help you out. We'll make sure you get out safely. I'm sure we've cleared the way thus far. I think he can make his way out. Yeah, I think he should be fine. Just ignore the dead people. Yeah, I suppose it's on your terms. You'll have to talk to Amrick and see if he's the, the deal-making kind. Otherwise, I think the easiest option to keep the payments from coming to the Dead 3 are going to be to kill Amrick or scare him to the point where he's not going to be able to make any trouble. But be warned, he's the son of one of the most powerful people in Baldur's Gate. When you pick this fight, there's not going to be a lot else you can do with it. This isn't even really your fight if you think about it. You just... But you know what's going to happen if things go the way they do. Don't worry, the game's not new to me. I Good to hear. You. Let's get out of here. I've been here for days. I want to see the sun. All right. I'm not planning on sticking around here much longer. I, uh, upon reflection, if you're going after Amric, I'd do it probably tomorrow night when things are just starting to get busy enough for him to be distracted. If you can, don't kill him. 
I don't want the piece of shit alive anymore. But it would be wrong to go up against my mom without some kind of leverage. She's not to be trifled with. There is a, uh, a beast that has uh, been attracted to the smell of rotten decay that now lives in the lower parts of our temple. And we are not able to service the people safely as we once did for fear that it will, it will climb out. It's been barricaded. Ooh. And the money isn't what matters here. We right. are all, there are hard times seen by all, but we, but we are, don't want to unleash a monster onto the people. Nor do we wish to deny people the right for their, their loved ones to be buried. Right. We would appreciate your help in the matter. Of course. Talk to your people about it. And this is by no means a binding contract. If it's something outside of your wheelhouse, then, then we won't push you to it. Even if they're... I will help you. Even if I can't convince them, I will help you. Oh, I'd appreciate that. I'd appreciate that a lot. After hanging out in the Blade Stars for a bit, you do kind of hear, overhear, you, you see more uh, these three gentlemen who kind of enter into the bar and begin to like uh, ask for beer and it gets served to them. I'm going to make my way to a table near them. Okay. You uh, go ahead and move on over. One of the guys kind of takes notice it as you kind of change over to a seat nearby. They're like, something funny, friend. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to sit down at a table next to them and start playing bagpipes. And as you're doing this, the guys kind of like look over and they're just like, Kind of squinting at you, they're like, "Can you, can you take that out?" Like, you're, he's like, "Can you, can you stop?" Like, one of them like takes a knife over and kind of like begins to walk over and like looks to stab the bagpipe. What With do you want? I'm gonna stand up and put it down. Is you don't mind? Issue? Me and my friend are, are just having a nice time, having a drink and talk. Well, it could be so great that you wouldn't include me. Come on now. <laughs> Listen, I'm a purporter of a great time. Well, yeah. But you've gone ahead and you've messed with our great time. So maybe you should leave. Yeah, so anyway, I could I make can't. it up to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How are you going to do that? Well, I may not be that good at bagpipes, but um, I sure got a few stories to tell. Um, as you're reading the paper, I imagine you found some place to sit. And something is just like, ting, 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 like at your, at your boot heel. You look down, Ooh. and it's a crow. Ting. I, I throw rations at it and then go back to reading. <laughs> it like rations. kind of like gets hit by it, but it just kind of like pecks at it a little bit. After a while, you hear tink tink again. Not your boot. Same boot or different boot? Same boot. <laughs> Is the, did he finish all the rations? Yeah, he, he finished all the rations. <laughs> There's a seagull that kind of like passes down like right next to you, and the crow within a split second goes right for the neck of the seagull, rips its uh, throat out, and like starts like eating the, the seagull itself. That's your bird. <laughs> like someone like sees it like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, they're like, did you see what that bird just did? <laughs> yeah, it was fucking awesome. They take out their phone, their phone, they put it on Facebook. <laughs> I was literally gonna say, if they had, if they this had crystals. This crow just oh, killed this bird. And then like, like, they zoom in on the crow as it like looks at them. Like, it's on like <laughs> crystal talk tick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mad. Uh, <laughs> Um, you roll the six for it, so you like reach out your hand, it hops onto your uh, your wrist, moves up a little bit, shits on your arm, and then flies away. <laughs> Do I have your letter of recommendation? No, I would not get deign to give it to you, and they wouldn't care if you had one. I was ejected from the candle key. I learned everything out of spite of what they didn't, they failed to teach me. And he kind of goes into, he's like, ah, here we are. He kind of like opens the door, he's like, good, empty, let's go upstairs. You kind of like, uh, you begin like going up the stairs, he's like, Now, if you're serious about what you're doing, I need to know that you're serious about what you're doing. He kind of goes up at the second floor, going to the third, he's like, Now, what would you not do to find out magical secrets? Oh no. There's almost nothing. Alrighty. I need you to jump off of this roof. I'm not looking for someone who is smart, or ambitious, or who will do... Anything less than whatever it will take. It will take exactly what it takes. And what it will take right now is for you to jump off this roof. If that's what it takes, I step towards the window or towards the edge of the roof. All right, you're going to jump? I am trying to persuade him that I'm going to. Okay. He's like, that's good. But I believe the next step is going to be the one that convinces me. You're a step away from everything you need to know. Are you really going to stop here? No. 
And I jump. Oh my god. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to it. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, she you take 12 points of bludgeoning oh damage. Oh my god. That's not everything <laughs> anymore. That's fine. Girl. Uh, so the way that you fall is interesting. You jump off of this almost, there's no like anything to catch you on, so you just hit the pavement right in front of a guy who was like moving a wheelbarrow. So his day is just kind of like, <sighs> wife's upset at me. What do I get to make her, <laughs> holy crap! <laughs> like, you it, almost did like a, like a my Assassin's yams. Creed. Like. like if you slow down the motion, you, it's just Rowan going like this. <laughs> <laughs> like how she falls. Terrible. Never. Terrible. Terrible. Uh -huh. So you fall, you hit the ground pretty hard. It's oh just as God. hard as you would have expected it to be. Um, and a lot of people are crowding around. They're like, is she dead? Like, check for a pulse. Check her pockets. Like, like, I get up. I brush them away. <laughs> it hurts to get off. Like, there's something definitely sprained. Like, you're limping a little bit now. You're now very aware of the fact that you are an injured target in the middle of Baldur's Gate in high noon where a lot of people have just seen you do something that has injured yourself. You are now a target. <laughs> Uh, you look back up, um, the gentleman who is at the top of that area is now gone, and it looks like he's just exited, uh, the, the, he's exited the establishment, looked over, smiled like, and just walks down the alleyway away from you. You head back to the Blade and Stars. Oliver, you get there first. Um, every once in a while, you swear you can hear, call, like in the distance. <laughs> um, you, uh, Mary, you also make your way to the tavern just shortly after Oliver comes in. Uh, you, next up would come Zarin and in his Um, the second Merit sees Rowan, she just like stands up from the table and just, what happened? Oh my gosh, what, are you okay? You have a potion of healing? She, I instantly <laughs> cast Cure Wounds. I just put my hand on her shoulders and cast Cure Wounds. Um, you think Which, that's bad? I had a bird shit on me. You're fine. Do they even recognize me? You're fine. Uh, no. I jumped off uh, the roof. You guys... Why? Did you do a flip? I tried. Was it cool? At least you tried. No, um... All right, at this point, being hit from all sides by spellcasters, and as the lightning continues to, like, really shock into him, it, this one kind of, like, puts him down. He's like, okay, wait, 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 wait. We can, we can discuss this. We can, we can talk about this. Then let us discuss. Um, when he goes down, I want to cast Detect Thoughts. Okay, he's like, shit, th th this entire deal isn't worth it anymore. Let's just give it up. Let's just let's get, get out of here. That's all that matters. It's like, I, I can give you whatever you need if you... Tell me everything. Marin steps forward with a hand that's like blowing a softer blue and just, I'll heal you if you tell us everything we need to know. And then after she says that, and I go, I grab him by this, like, the curt tail or whatever, and I hoist him up, and I go, and if you don't, you get me. <laughs> <laughs> now it's your decision, just like I told you before. I'll, listen, this is all my mother. We, none of us had a choice. Not Thirstwell, not Mortlock, not even I. Okay, simple don't then. Sell out your mother <laughs> to the Flaming Fist, and we spare your life. Done. I will, I, will t I will tell everything that they need to know. You You'll pull out the paperwork, your books, <laughs> expose yourself as a money, what, loner? The worst money lender in the entire city. And this is Baldur's Gate, might I add. That takes a special level Do it. of just Do it. test. I just throw him to the ground and stomp his fucking head. <laughs> oh my god, no. His chest, his chest. No, his head. He, he, he me and him... He gave me the wink. Okay, so then I have... like, I kneel down and just, I will call him off. I will stop him if you promise to take down your no. mother with all the information that you Listen, have. I would be happy to do this. I, I don't, this, our entire family is fucked. I don't care anymore. All of this dealing with devils, all of it is just, it's, it's not worth it anymore, frankly. All right. Then how'd I, you make, like to make one last deal? Fine. You're coming with me to the Mandacry house. Ba Zarin. What? You heard me. Zarin. What? What does that have to do with any yeah. of this? Just it's just a little game. Do you want anyone out? out? It gets me out of here alive? Alright. Huh? It gets me out of here alive? We Most take him there definitely. after. Now living, that's for you to decide. Fine. Fine. I... 
I'll go to your little your little house. I'll stay under wherever you need me to be. After we get what we need from him. Of course, of course. You don't want He's me only dead. Making a deal. The wrath that would fall down on all of your heads. The things that my mother d will do. The people she Listen, knows. The things I'm gonna do to your mother. <laughs> oh my God, no! <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> so. I hate this. <laughs> Savvy. Fine. We have a deal. Are we all good? Seems fair. How do we get to your mother? your mother? My mother lives in the upper city. She's furthest away from all the patriarchs at the very, very edge of the city walls. Twenty guards constantly guard her villa. Getting in will be a problem. They're her own personal guards. They don't answer to anyone else. We'll if you speak to her or to the guards, saying that you have taken me prisoner and for my safe return to her, you want an audience, then I suppose that's what you're looking for. I don't even know what it is you want. Are you trying to arrest her, kill her? That's not your concern anymore. It will matter for what happens next is why I'm asking. Then tell us what happens next on either side. That's what you're here for. If you are planning to kill her, then, well, the move would be to to, to lie, to say that we're all here as business partners talking about the deal that she had made and then we'd all get into the same room and then at that point you would kill her. I don't believe him. I think he would double cross us in a heartbeat. He heart totally beat. would. I know this guy. Yeah. As he talks, I'm going to walk up and yank out a couple of his hairs and just tuck them away. Ooh. Ow. What Spicy. the f Why? What was that for? Okay, person. You don't need to know. I have Tell the truth. Hey, I have dibs on his teeth. I was told I'd be getting out of this alive. Yeah, we didn't say yeah. unharmed. Toothless. <coughs> so I'll go ahead and say for the moody, moody effect that this place is boarded up pretty heavily. It hasn't been opened in some time, at least two months. And uh, as you guys approach, the door just kind of opens on its own to you. You guys walk on in. Amrick kind of follows behind. He's like, what is this? You're your clubhouse. Amaric, remember how I told you you'd have to make a deal to save your life? Along those words, you understand the gist. But you're here now. You're going to go ahead, head on down to the end of this room. We're going to leave. And you're going to walk out of here. And we'll take you wherever you need to. Okay? You make that deal, or you don't come out. Amaric walks inside the Mando Cry Mansion, and the door kind of shuts behind him. 10 minutes pass, 15 minutes, an hour. You guys don't see Amber come out of the house. As you enter in, um, you do hear, just in the farthest distance, very quietly. Oh. <laughs> you guys enter into the house. I assume that you're going to the lowest part of the, this building. I just want to venture in until I can somehow know that the, either the deal was taken or not. Okay, so you guys uh, go down into the basement area where the deep pit with uh, green light uh, kind of glows from the bottom. It's about 60 feet from ceiling to floor with a little outcropping 30 feet up where you guys walk out onto. Uh, this is the place where you guys made the deal. This is where Oliver got his sword and his armor. This is where uh, where Zarin got his guitar and this is where Rowan got her, her ring. This isn't where any, anywhere that Merrick got anything. Because, you know. Yeah, no, I'm a good kid. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Exactly. Didn't take a deal. Exactly right. Good kid shit only. Alrighty. <laughs> she said no deal. <laughs> no deal. She walked away with her own case. <laughs> yeah, she has a ca case of, like, family issues. Any move. Okay, can you not draft my character? Thank you. That's his whole job, so... That is 85% of a DM shot. Uh, the chains that hang in this area kind of move suddenly and then you do see the two uh the two chain devils kind of fall down a little bit from the the ceiling and you uh and kyrix kind of approaches you guys and says well zarin you're one down wonderful <laughs> that man was so frightened i never seen someone so scared of another human being in my entire life we take pride in our work here Yes, apparently so. And using your gifts to good use, I see. Yeah. Well, it's, uh... <laughs> yeah. 
It appears that I'm only a few more away from a promotion. Oh, I can just smell the torment. But you're interested in what he asked for, but that is between me and him now. And As it stands? Now, I do have one question. Hmm. We did not see him leave. He is a liability to us, and I just want to make sure of his whereabouts. <laughs> Part of his agreement was that this whole thing never happened. He asked to be removed from everything connected to every deal ever. In exchange, he wanted to leave with just his life. Now, he didn't look at the specifics, and unfortunately, he's not the best at reading a contract, so... <laughs> Well, as long as our deal here is accomplished, I am well and happy. We're not, I wouldn't say, accomplished. Well, this... at least partially. Oh, of course. We still have how many, was it? Four? I believe three more? Or was it five total? I'm saying three more, because I distinctly remember a number of four total. That's what the contract said. That's what I read. You have three more. One I'm not down. here, but you know that. Three to go. Oh, you could always get an extension if you're looking for something more. Soon I'll be able to offer you more. Um... I'm okay part. with our proposition as it stands. I will continue through its completion. Very well. And I will check back in with you accordingly. Marvelous. Looking forward to seeing you again. Oh, I know you are. <laughs> he kind of like moves away and you see the other chain devil and him just kind of go up towards the ceiling. Okay. All right. I'd, I'd head back to the smiling boar. <laughs>